Portal's ready. Grab your gun. Back to it, quick draw. You're in for a tougher fight. Are you having fun yet? I am. Haven't seen shooting like that since an iron lady named Ephrodite ruined my bar. Dark Age was wild times. Good work. I could use someone like you on my next crew. What's up, everybody? My name's Angel from Shadow of Gaming, and welcome back to my favorite game of all time, Destiny. Just kidding. As you know, I've been gone from YouTube for a hot minute, uh, what with the move and all, and I have not been able to create a proper video for you guys. Uh, over time, I was gone, and I thought I should change up my channel. I've come to learn that the Age of Let's Plays are gone, and there are a lot of big names out there who already do stuff like that. You know, Markiplier, PewDiePie, all those cats. And I try to match up to them over the course of my channel's history. And it was a cringy past trying to match up to them because it's not me. So as you know, 90% of my channel's content consists of this game, whether it's through live streams, let's plays, or through the highlight reels. And I may have said it in my previous video, but this game is my World of Warcraft. That being said, Destiny is starting to become a deeper game, and it's more than its initial launch back in 2014. So recently, I ran into some new light players who were new to Destiny, and they were pretty surprised by how fast I could nuke a boss in a strike. Because, you know, who runs strikes anymore? <laughs> Am I right? All jokes aside, uh, since Destiny went free to play and with the installment of Shadowkeep, I've come to the realization that there's a new generation in the world of gaming. A uh, new generation of gamers are here and there, and they don't know the, the basics of Destiny or any of the terminology of certain things, whether it's uh, MMOs, FPSs, there's just a whole new wave, and that caught me off guard. Because game has changed from when I was a little kid to where it is now, where before it was just single player games, everyone told their stories of what happened, or, oh yeah man, I bought this game, I bought this game. Now, in this new decade, a lot of people are more connected in the world of gaming. Multiplayer is a huge aspect of gaming. You still got a lot of good single player games, by all means, they have great stories, but the multiplayer aspect is starting to become a bigger thing now. What with uh, Battle Royales, like Fortnite, Apex, everyone's getting more connected. And so, there's a lot more new players. Now, back in 2017, I took pride in being a Sherpa during the raid sessions, which is basically a guide. I was able to teach a lot of new players how to raid, what to do, all the mechanics, what guns to bring. Things like that. And I was never the guy like, yeah, you gotta be this, this, and this. No, no. Because that gate kept a lot of new players. And it's a lot of fun and it's really satisfying to be able to teach someone and show someone how to get through something. That's what really, that's what really got me into Destiny. To finally hop into that. And there's a lot of more, there's a lot more games that are like that now. Where you're just thrown into the deep end not knowing what to do. Now, there's a lot of games that are making a comeback into this day and age, you know, Call of Duty, Battlefront, Halo Reach. It's almost like the 2010s are coming to the 2020s. Uh, as a new decade arises, gone are the days of instruction manuals that are as thick as this. <laughs> and back then, instruction manuals covered everything in the game, whether it was the character backstories, whether it was uh, the story of the entire game, the premises, the controls. Um, even the cheat codes that are in the back. Even cheat books have been phased out of existence. I don't see them at book fairs anymore. And that was a lot of fun, just to like, hey man, I remember this cheat code, write this down, write this down. Like, you'd have that one kid who'd buy the cheat books and then share it with the whole class, you know? Things like that. Those days are gone. And with that, there's a lot of common knowledge in the world of gaming that's not as common as we thought it was. All of the guys that are my age, somewhere in like their 20s to 30s to 40s, who are consistent gamers, they a lot of it is like, yeah, it's second nature to us. But we gotta remember that the next generation doesn't know all that. Yeah, kids can take 
um, iPads like fish to water. But gaming is a whole different language. It's a whole different technique, especially with the world of esports on the rise. You know, that's going to be another big thing. VR is going to be the next big thing. I just saw a concert in VR, and getting to show someone all of that—it's crazy. It's really crazy. Sidetracking aside, we've entered a new gaming or everyone should get connected instead of players gatekeeping each other and so anyone that's new to the gaming world let me be the first to welcome welcome you guys in because it's a wonderful world gaming I mean whether it's fantasy sci-fi sports whatever flavor of gaming you prefer it's it's all there even mobile I'm not gonna judge mobile players I I like to do that every now and again too you know so I'll do my best to help you guys into the digital worlds that makes life fun. <laughs> so for this channel, I'm going to run two different series. Gaming 101, where this is going to be a more of a broader, generalized uh, concept, where it's more factoids, history, um, terminology, things of that sort. You know, what is the game world? And then Destiny 101. Like I said, Destiny is the biggest game to me. So, as of now, I want to be able to help grow that community with open arms. You know. I want to help new players get a grasp on everything, because the way you're just kind of thrown into it, it's like how when I was thrown into Warframe in the beginning. <laughs> it was a lot to take in, and with these games as a service, there's more and more and more being added on. So, players are finding their own niches now, rather than being able to like, Alright, cool, done with this game, time to hop on the next one. Up, oh, done with this game, hop to the next one. It's not like that anymore. Right now, that is what I have planned for the channel. And currently, I'm script writing and recording a lot of new episodes. It's just a pain in the butt for me to edit. So, I want to do it for you guys. Video games are my life, they're my love. Uh, it, the worlds they take you to, the adventures you can have, memories you'll make, the friends you'll meet. <laughs> God. One of my good friends, um, we've known each other for eight years now, and I still game with him to this day. So, you never know. It's, it's good. It's good, and it's amazing. So, in this venture, I'm not going to be alone. I'm going to be inviting some friends along, getting feedback from you guys, getting feedback from my friends. So, uh, we're going to have a lot more content, whether it's going to be podcasting, content collabs, other productions in general, because I'm going to have another side channel where I'm going to do more art seeker stuff, but this is going to be my main focus. So, that's what I have roadmap for now. So, that's all I got for you guys for now. I can't wait to get these series started, and I'm going to hop right to it. So, to get more content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to leave a like, a favorite, and a comment. Um, if you didn't like it, tell me why. I need the feedback so that way I can make better content for you guys. What you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to know more. All these are going to help everyone. Whether it's going to be me, whether it's going to be the new co new players coming in. All of that. And then make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I'm very active on there. And over time, I'm going to start building up my Discord. But those are all big plans for later. For now, this is Angel from Shadow Wolf Gaming. Signing off. Portals ready. Go say hello. <laughs> <laughs>